looking at the documentary on um, money as debt is really really important because like I was saying a little bit early that we don't really even understand what money really is we understand how to use money most people know what the, the use of money is at least they know how to use it Yovas, but they don't understand well what is money who makes money how is money created is there an unlimited supply of money we keep hearing about the deficit keeps growing and growing is there really that much so-called money in this world and how do they how do they make this money is it just numbers I mean it's a numbers game how do they make this money people know how to, the little people know well they have to make money for their bills for their way of life for the family or whatever the other personal or interpersonal expenses and everything so people understand that you have to either work or you have to steal or you have to you know do an investment or a con game or something you have to do out there in the world to get the dollars to make those papers or to really get those papers but how is money created where does it really come from you know was it's over like trillions of dollars that you know this is 73 what was it 73 trillion dollars or something was unaccounted for something like that the Pentagon or something around September 10th 2001 so you gotta stop so they got like 73 trillion dollars should have trillions of dollars out here you understand wow they said the global economic thing is this much money in the world the next year they can talk about doubling that well, where does this money really come from what does it what's really behind it so that's what I'm suggesting to most of you all you know I want to do a little introduction since some of you all probably have seen it before like a lot of this we, we get to see you know different videos that people are trying to disclose more or less what they know or believe is true but then some of you have to go back to these same videos and documentaries and, and study them. You watch them one time, but you have to maybe study it. This means stop, pause, you know, go look up something, have a little notepad, and take some notes so you can really try to figure all this stuff out. So this documentary, Money as Debt, is a very crucial documentary because most of us don't understand that this whole money and modern day monetary system, it's it's a man made creation. It's a, it's all a man made creation. You have to ask yourself, what do people do in the past, in different periods of time? And one thing, I don't think that people in the past, so-called primitive people, would have been to see through this and would have been asking these questions by now. But see, we have so much distraction. There's so many distractions and everything. And especially when you don't have the, that paper in your hand. You're over saying you can't go to the store and buy whatever you need at that moment. That's the only thing that people are thinking about it. And you got to understand that. So money itself is not evil. The Bible does not say, and I want to stress this point right here, that the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, does not say that money is evil. Everyone who says that is either evil or they are misinformed. The Bible says that the love of Money is the root of all evil. They're teaching a so-called system of value, but they don't tell you who sets the value for the system. We we're just talking about love of money before I last part. That's it. The love of money thing. Yeah, the Bible doesn't teach that money is evil. The Bible teaches that the love of money is evil, and there's an important distinction it's more than a semantic distinction but semantics is very important this is why people usually will go to a lawyer you understand or someone who's a like you went to a doctor and you had an illness and the doctor told you oh you're sick you, you, you have bad sickness what do I have you don't know you know could be a cold could be this could be that you're not gonna buy that but